Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, you guys know what to do. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. So guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the major disconnect in the two lawsuits that has been filed against EA. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because as you guys can remember, we heard about a lawsuit. We saw it in the media, TMZ, and page six. This gentleman claimed that he hired him and he had to hire a private investigator to investigate if Kim Kardashian and her family were involved in sex trafficking and other illegal activities. We heard that from that lawsuit. Since then, someone from Ye's circle said that Ye said some things in that lawsuit is factual, but not everything. No. Also on October 8th, we saw Lauren Pachetta amended her lawsuit. And when she amended the lawsuit, she um, basically paraphrased some of the things that um, Cassie Ventura said about Diddy, and she did so to reflect Ye. So she basically switched up a few words here and there. She also accused Ye of human trafficking. Now, there's a whole scenario going on. With that lawsuit and people are stepping out to expose Lauren Pachetta. No, what many of these people are alleging is that Lauren Pachetta was the girl who actually forced Kim to, you know, finally make up her mind and say, that's it. I'm going to get the divorce. And I'm not talking about she intimidated Kim or anything like that. She was basically messing around with Ye, allegedly, and wanted to one up on Kim. And Kim was like, you know what? You don't know how to put your itches in their place. And I'm not going to be a second class fiddle for you. So to heck with you. To, you can have whoever you want. You can sleep with whoever you want. It's not going to be me. No, people are waiting for Kim to come out and tell her story. And honestly, if I was Kim, I would not. I would let Ye drown. You know why? Ye is the one who stood in front of a pastor and he took that oath. I'm not saying Kim is perfect. I'm not saying that Kim has never cheated on Ye while they were married. But I don't see why Kim should be coming out to save Ye. Ye dug himself this ditch and he has to dig himself out of it. And Ye did not sexually harass that girl. I've heard people saying that Lauren has evidence. She has no evidence. She cannot even submit the text messages that she claims she got from me. You know what they did to trick the people to believe that they had evidence? They typed out the claims of the text messages in the lawsuit, you know, to make it seem as though those were the actual messages. She hasn't submitted a single shred of evidence, not even one text message to the court. And this is why many people are dragging her on Instagram. And it's not just some people who are dragging her, specific people. There are people who knows the truth and people are like, you know what? I'm not sorry for you. Lauren, he deserves what he's getting from Lauren. He definitely deserves it. And now knowing the truth, knowing that, you know, this girl in him, they had, I thought it was just a, but it was a humongous thing to the point where she felt as though she could one up on his wife. No, he has to dig himself out of, out of this one. He definitely has to. And I, and I, uh, and I believe that Kim should just keep it shut. Don't clarify anything. Don't say that's not the truth because Lauren was one of those persons that pushed her to file for divorce. Kim, keep it shut. Laugh at Ye. Because honestly, this is me. You guys know when Ye is wrong, you guys know I'm going to say it. When he's right, you guys know I'm going to say it. And I'm going to say, he did not assault this girl. They had a relationship. Practically everyone and their mama who was in that circle knew about it. And I'm going to leave that at that. So back to what I was saying. The huge disconnect in the lawsuits, the last two lawsuits. So here we have Lauren Pachetta over here accusing Ye of sex trafficking women. And at the same time, Ye, um, former staff, <laughs> Two people who worked on the same roof claimed that Ye wanted to know if Kim and her family was involved in sex trafficking and other illegal activities. Now, for me, this is a huge disconnect because Lauren Bichetta and the gentleman, they used to work for Ye. And why is it that only Lauren Bichetta 
um, is the only one who knows about ye sex trafficking women. And Bianca is, a, is, is a part of that. Bianca is the one who organizes the sex party. I believe that. The gentleman, the John Doe who sued ye, if there was such any, uh, if, if there was any activities, that individual would have included it in a lawsuit to say, here is ye asking me to, you know, hire investigators to investigate if Kim is involved in sex trafficking while he is involved in sex trafficking himself. Even though with me saying this can actually open a can of worm for ye, but I'm going to say that he deserves it. He deserves it. But you know why he deserves it? He needs to stop throwing pity parties for people. Every time he throws a someone a pity party, they give him a huge thank you by trying to take him down and sue him. They lie on him, they sue him. And he's not learning. So, I mean... I'm going to still send him best wishes, irrespective of all of all of this, because we're all human beings and we're not perfect. But there's one thing for those who have eyes to see, for those who know the truth, for those who have seen any ounce of the lawsuit, they know that Lauren hasn't submitted even a screenshot of the so of the so-called messages. And this is why the internet has been saying she cannot fool anyone. She can only fool the gullible people. And the women are saying, I've sent sexy texts to men and I would not be sending any sexy texts to anyone who is not replying. The people have been saying, you would not keep sending her messages unless it was a two-way street. Many people tend to think that that is hard to believe. And people have been asking you to submit his messages for the internet. But as I've said, Ye is not that kind of individual. He's not vindictive. He's not the kind of individual who will, you know, do something like that, especially knowing that he was smashing her. He really has that soft spot for his exes. The only reason why we see him dragging Kim from time to time, it's because of the disconnect with the kids. If you take, for example, what Julia Fox has done to him over the years, the lies and how she has thrown him onto the bus whenever it's convenient to do so. For example, and Kanye's post showed the message um, a few days ago. Julia Fox was just talking good about Ye three months ago, praising him. He's the best and he's all that. And now she's throwing him onto the bus. She has him in a book and Ye has never, ever stepped forward to shut down any woman claims against him, not even Kim. You know, it's only that sometimes when Kim is putting up a resistance for him to see the kid, he will say, you know what, to hell with you and your family, Kim. You guys are doing too much now. So the fact of the matter is, Anyone can put anything in a lawsuit. I can put something in a lawsuit and say, you know, when you came to Jamaica, we were hanging out at Butchabonton Studios because, I mean, <laughs> it's easy, right? And if you have a lawyer who has no soul and, and is focused on the money, they're going to take the case. And, you know, the court make money by this. So I just want to say to people, Stop being gullible. Lauren definitely knows what she's doing. And there are other people who knows what Lauren is doing. And majority of these people, while they are sad to see Ye going through this, and while they understand that this can cause a, a ripple effect, and they're just standing by to see how far it's going to go before they step in and say, okay, we all have observed what happened in that building and what you're claiming happened did not. They're just waiting, right? And no one believes that they should bail Ye out of this because they believe that he dug this ditch for himself. So, while I've gotten as much information as these people can send to me, I'm going to say that there's a huge disconnect between the last two lawsuits. We can't have one person over here saying that Ye is investigating Kim and her family for human trafficking and other crimes. While we have Lauren Pachetta over on the left saying that Ye um, trafficked women, right? And not just that. In that lawsuit... Um, Lauren Pichetta, um gave the experience of Nikki Heaton without putting Nikki Heaton's name in the lawsuit. And when you look at the details that she included that is surrounded um, Nikki Heaton, it is different from the story that Nikki Heaton has going over the internet. So the reason why she did not include Nikki Heaton's um, name is because she know she knows that. Well, if she clearly says Nikki Heaton, people are going to look back at the video and say, well... 
Nikki Heaton did not say that. The stories are not connecting. It's not as though Lauren needs to give a recollection of what happened verbatim to what Nikki Heaton is saying. No, she just needs to give a summary. But at the end of the summary, there should be a huge connect, not a huge disconnect. But if you look at the video versus what Lauren has in the lawsuit, there is a huge disconnect. And as such, when you put all the facts together, and I'm talking about facts, facts, not allegation, facts. She claims that she has been harassed, pizza delivery, police, you know, gas leaks and all of that. Not one shred of evidence. Not one. She claimed that he, you know, harassed her and she hasn't submitted the raw text messages in the court documents. She hasn't. And you know why she hasn't? Because it was a two way street. Okay. It wasn't a one way. It's nothing like what she claimed. And I do support the people who knows what actually happened. I do support them in not coming to his offense because as they're saying, he needs to learn. And I definitely support that. And if I was in Kim Shu, I would be laughing at Lauren Pachetta and I would be laughing at Ye, my ex-husband, even more. Because that's what you get when you step outside of your marriage for people who really have no soul. Your wife has no soul. And then you stepped out of your marriage for another woman who has no soul. That's really um not a good thing to do. Yes, I know he isn't the first to cheat and all of that, but I'm not going to make any excuse for any individual. Now, people may say, well, Lauren should have known that he was married. Lauren did not stand in front of a pastor and took a vow. He did that. So it's his responsibility at all time to be respectful to his marriage. And that's all I have to say about that for this video. Let me know your thoughts while you're at it. Thumbs up, share, stay safe. See you guys later. Bye guys.